Liquid crystal on silicon spatial light modulator is closely related to liquid crystal displays. Light is transmitted through a protective glass cover, transparent electrode layer, and into a liquid crystal layer. After reflecting from a mirror coating behind the liquid crystal layer, the light passes back through the three layers and exits the SLM. On the other side of the mirror coating is an array of electrodes, which divide the liquid crystal layer into individual pixels that can be controlled independently of one another. The control is provided by silicon-based circuitry that customizes the voltage applied across each pixel. The voltage applied across a liquid crystal pixel controls the refractive index of the light in that pixel. As the refractive index increases, it takes longer for the wave to make a round trip through the liquid crystal layer. This increases the phase delay of the output wave. The phase delay depends on the optical path length through the liquid crystal layer which is the product of the refractive index and twice the thickness of the liquid crystal layer. We use twice the thickness in this case because the light travels back through the liquid crystal layer after reflecting from the mirror coating. The voltage across a liquid crystal pixel affects the refractive index due to two things. One is that the individual liquid crystal molecules rotate to align themselves with an applied electric field, or voltage. The other is that the molecules are birefringent. When a material is birefringent, the refractive index depends on the alignment of the light's polarization orientation with respect to the material's optic axis. Linear polarized light polarized parallel to the material's optic axis experiences the material's extraordinary refractive index. The round-trip optical path length for this light will be the product of the extraordinary refractive index and twice the physical thickness of the liquid crystal layer. Linearly polarized light that is polarized perpendicular to the material's optic axis experiences the material's ordinary refractive index. The round-trip optical path length for light in that polarization state will be the product of the ordinary refractive index and twice the physical thickness of the liquid crystal layer. In phase-only spatial light modulators, the molecules rotate in a single plane as the voltage across the liquid crystal layer changes. When the light is polarized in this plane, the value of the refractive index provided by the pixel can be varied between the ordinary and extraordinary refractive index values. The amount of light polarized parallel to the optic axis compared with the amount of light polarized perpendicular to the optic axis determines the refractive index value. Since changing the refractive index changes the optical path length, the optical path length for the light polarized in this plane is voltage dependent. And the voltage dependent phase shift provided by the pixel is the product of the round trip optical path length in 2 pi divided by the vacuum wavelength. Phase-only SLMs are typically expected to provide a specific phase shift without affecting the light's polarization state. In order for these SLMs to provide this functionality, all of the incident light must be linearly polarized, and the polarization must be aligned to the molecule's plane of rotation. The SLM will provide unexpected results when some or all of the light is polarized perpendicular to the plane of rotation. This is because the light polarized perpendicular to the plane is always polarized perpendicular to the material's optic axis. Regardless of the applied voltage and the rotation of the molecules, the refractive index of this light will always equal the ordinary refractive index.